Hi everyone and welcome back. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw water reflections with a dip pen and ink. It doesn't have to be a dip pen, um, it can be a fine liner, technical pen, ballpoint pen, fountain pen, any pen you like. Um, this method isn't specific just to dip pens at all. Okay, so as you can see, um, I'm just finishing off this little sketch here in ink um, of a bridge and I've started putting the reflections in just very very lightly using horizontal pen strokes and that's very important you must keep all of your pen strokes horizontal while you're doing this before you actually start with the pen you can actually map out very lightly with a pencil some of the bigger shapes um, that are reflected in the water obviously in this case it's the shape of the bridge um, that very light coloured tree and the dark foliage in the background you can probably make out a few little pencil marks there um, so I've kind of followed the lines down and just very roughly mapped them in um, so I know where to put the lighter tones and the darker tones. So once you've got a few pencil lines in there it's best to start off lightly with these hatching marks, these horizontal hatching marks. Um, and when I say lightly you're probably thinking how do you get ink to lay down lightly because it's all just one tone. Well that's the trick you know we're building up the tones by hatching and layering basically I'm leaving little gaps in between each line um, sometimes those gaps will be a little bit bigger where there's a lighter tone um, other times those gaps will be smaller and overlapping in some cases um, and almost solid in other cases where you know we want the darker tones so if we start off nice and light and just get the direction of the water and start to get accustomed to you know the reflection shapes that we're actually drawing in from the, the trees and everything above it there. Try not to get any or hardly any um, ink lines over the light reflection of the tree trunk there, mainly concentrating them in the dark areas for now. I should just quickly mention actually the paper that I'm working on because that is actually playing a small part in the overall effect of this. Um, the paper I'm actually working on is from my Sea White Watercolour Travel Journal it's A5 sized and the paper in there has a cold pressed surface which has got a little bit of texture, not too much. It's not as rough as some of the other cold pressed surfaces out there but it's definitely got a nice bit of texture to it. So we can use that texture to our advantage and actually create some nice effects on there. For example, if you move the pen nib very slowly across the texture you obviously get a solid line. But if you move the pen very quickly across there the pen nib kind of skips across the texture of the paper and gives sort of a broken line effect um, and when you repetitively do that you know when you're hatching it can almost like create a sparkle um, effect on the water and the nib that I'm actually using in this pen um, is actually helping with that effect a little bit as well the nib I'm using is a zebra G nib uh, really nice nibs very fine you get lovely fine lines with them but they're very smooth as well Whereas a lot of dip pen nibs can be very scratchy and when you're using them on a rough surface like a watercolour paper they can sometimes snag a little bit and kind of splatter ink about. But because these are really quite smooth, the action of them is very smooth, um, they don't snag at all, you know, they just glide across the paper really nicely. So you can move that pen quite quickly, you know, across the, the texture of the paper there without it snagging and create some lovely effects with it. I'll leave links in the description below to all the materials that I'm using in this video. Um, you know, the nibs, the sketchbooks and everything. Now if you fancy drawing along with this scene, um, the full tutorial of this is over on my Patreon channel. It's all in real time with full narration. Uh, it only costs £3.50 a month and for that you'll get access to over a thousand videos, instructional art videos um, covering ink, graphite, watercolour, mixed media, all sorts of good stuff over there and you'll also get access to the community section and we've got the best community on Patreon over there, brilliant bunch of people, you'll love it over there. In fact you can join for just £1 um, if you just want to get access to the community and share your artwork on there and talk with like minded people um, and you'll also get access to all of the reference photos and a copy of the finished drawing as well. And again, I'll leave links to Patreon in the end screen cards and in the description below. Okay, so back to the sketch. Um, you can start to see now, you know, the variation in tones starting to build up. 
and we've still got a nice sort of area of white paper showing you know giving a little bit of sparkle a few ripples a little bit of movement in the water but you can see how this kind of layered approach with horizontal hatching marks you know just taking your time and building up slowly you know can really give a nice effect to areas like this because they're quite tricky actually sometimes reflections in water uh, when you're drawing them with ink you know if you make one mistake it's kind of all over really well it's not all over but you're not getting rid of it you know it's ink once that inks down there it's there it's not like you can play around like you can with a graphite pencil and erase it and start changing shapes and tones and start manipulating them you know lightening them darkening them, that kind of thing you've got to kind of get that ink pretty spot on first time you know to get it to look right now what I usually do when I'm ink drawing is have a scrap piece of paper at the side of me particularly when I'm using a dip pen um, so once I've dipped the pen I can just scribble a little bit on that scrap piece of paper to make sure the ink's flowing properly the line's not too thick or too thin um, I can just quickly practice the pen strokes that I'm going to use in a certain area um, so I can be fairly confident you know when I'm actually working on the drawing that I'm not going to make any mistakes um, or anything like that now I did get a few marks in this uh, particular area of reflection where I wasn't too happy with them I kind of slightly overworked it a little bit and maybe filled in too much of the paper and not left enough white showing there are a number of things you can actually do um, you know to correct an ink drawing sometimes it can be very difficult particularly if it's a very large area but for just kind of small areas and discrete areas you can actually use white ink to kind of go over it um, if you use a really good quality one a really nice opaque one it should cover it over pretty well some of the cheaper white inks kind of look grey but you can see here look I'm using white ink on a rigger brush and just making a few corrections and just adding a little bit more sparkle to the water a few more little ripples and that kind of thing and it really works well you know you can kind of enhance your ink drawings like that and just correct a few little mistakes here and there um, it's something that I wouldn't overdo I'm sure you could go too far with this and overwork it um, but just use very subtly you know you can kind of get away with just a few enhancements there okay so there we go there's the finished sketch um, if you like it or the video has been helpful to you in any way I would really appreciate a thumbs up it really does help the channel and of course if you don't like it give a thumbs down hit that button twice show me that you really dislike it don't just bother hitting it once hit it twice then I'll really know that you dislike it okay so thanks for <laughs> thanks very much for watching everyone take care and I'll see you in the next one bye for now